What have we here? Boiler, this dredge character's meddling will be the death of us. He was loitering around the exchange today, asking far too many questions about the bank. Should he discover my plan, you will face a far worse fate than losing your job. Signed, Plutus. So this Plutus is Starek's banker, hmm? I wager dredge will lead me to him. While you're out and about, do attempt not to destroy modern medicine or the London Transportation Network. Don't make me laugh. Innocent lives hang in the balance. They depend on this city. I'm not the one who let Lucy Thorne walk away. A mistake I intend to rectify immediately. Bus feud ends in blood! I'll take one. Here you go, sir. I say we stop this goodwill towards strangers nonsense and focus on what London really needs. Solid leadership, whose hard work will raise everyone up to success. As go the titans of business, so goes the world. Oh, oh, oi. You weak fool. Get a job. The best guards money can buy won't do Mr. Dredge any good. Jacob. It's me, Sergeant Frederick Appeline. Freddy. Sergeant. Undercover. There's to be a robbery at the Bank of England, I'm sure of it. Robbery? It's a fortress. Mm, the boys at the station thought I was joking. Wouldn't be so funny if it was their life savings. Who's behind it? That's confidential. Oh, come on, Freddy. I can help you. Imagine the headlines. Thieves caught in the act. Appeline Wright all along. Well... I suppose I can fill you in a little. Every fiscal quarter, a branch of the bank is robbed. Never the same branch. The thieves are supplied by... Cockham merchants. Thanks for the info, Freddy. It's Sergeant! I, 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 I'm keeping my eye on you! I will not build a single bus for you criminals. Oh, you'll do as we say, Bailey. Or we're gonna have to pay you and your family a visit. You leave them be. Hey! After him! Deep breaths. They're gone. But no, not for long. They'll hurt my kids. They'll. they'll I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> my kids. Are That's it. <laughs> Tell me why you've got the blighters after you. The city's been turned <laughs> upside down since Attaway Transport and the Milner Company went belly up. With no one to fill their shoes, the gangs made their move. Well done, Jacob. As is Bailey, the only omnibus builder in the city, they are demanding that I work for them. There you are. I know good men who want to form a united transport company. What is it they say in America? For the people, by the people? That is our intention for the London General Omnibus Company. But those go. thugs got hold of the deed to Attaway Transport. We need it to begin our company. Go. Mr. Bailey, I am Miss Fry. Consider me an ally to your cause. Slow down. That's it.
I sent Ross's men a message. You and your family are safe. Oh, you are blooming brilliant. The founding members of the London General Omnibus Company. Good moral men. All of them. We'll have buses rolling before you know it. Thank you, Miss Fry. My pleasure. If only I knew which shipment it was, then I could trace the weapons to their owner. Capital idea, Freddy. Where the devil is it? Tea. Maybe later. Hello. And now to wait for the crates to be retrieved. Don't want them tea leaves to the dust, do we? we take these crates. Any mistake will cost you dearly. Keep your knickers on. We hear you. Good, because I ain't repeating myself. Templars. The weapons are here. Same routine as before. The two penny opens a vault, we robs it and leaves the money in his storehouse. Look sharp, the boys are waiting. To the Bank of England. Yeah. Plutus is two penny. Hmm. What good is a key if you don't know what lock it opens? I dare say Miss Thorne is in the same predicament. Henry! Mr. Green, here, this is it. This matches a casket owned by the Queen, kept in the Tower of London. It's a fortress. I don't suppose you have any friends there? A guardsman? If you can find him once you're inside? I'll talk to you again when I have the shroud. Thank you for your help. Right, yes. Uh, good luck. Evie? Lots of guards. Predictable patrol routes. Thorn may already be inside. Better stick to the shadows. The shroud is in a chest that matches the key. Find it and bring it to me. Halt! Escort to the keys. Halt! Who comes there? The keys! Whose keys? Queen Victoria's keys. First, Queen Victoria's keys, and all's well. You're not with the Royal Guard. How many of you are there? Tell me. Let me go. This is treason. Just you wait until I get out. There'll be hell to pay.
fuck's sake. I wish they'd just knocked the constable out. I know. Someone out there? Yes. A friend. Oh, that's good. Say, friend, could you get me out? Guards ran off with the keys. Thank you. It's treason is what it is. And desecration of the chapel. Miss Thorne told me to be grateful they didn't kill me outright. The nerve. She's after an object of great power. She cannot be allowed to steal it. Not the crown jewels. Something much more important. We must stop her. I still have men loyal to me. I'll rally them. Thank heavens you've come. That Thorn woman has Templars everywhere, disguised as guards. I think I could pass as one of them long enough to sneak you inside, except the guards out here already know my face. You need to deal with them first. Meet me by the White Tower when you're ready. That's all for the men out here. What's next? Miss Thorne wants me captured. If she sees me in chains, she might let her guard down. Can you make it look convincing? You mean pretend like you're my prisoner? I'll do my best, ma'am. If we get too close, those Templars might realize I'm not one of theirs. Then let's keep our distance. I wager you won't like what Miss nice Thorne has in store for you. For you once. got her. Good man. My dear. I found her wandering inside the walls, ma'am. Thought you'd want to speak with her. Welcome, Miss Fry. Do you care to tell me where the shroud is? As you wish. I shall find it without your help. And then I'll strangle you with it. Watch her closely. You have murdered me after all. But what good will that do you? The Shroud isn't here. You sought a tool of healing in order to extend your own power. Not mine. Ours. You are so short-sighted. You'd hoard power and never use it, when we would better the condition of humanity. I hope you never find the Shroud. You have no idea what it truly can do. Tell me then. No. I need to sound the alarm. You'd best get yourself away before I do. I'll hold off as long as I can.
take this down, then I want it sealed until you receive further orders. Miss Thorne. You supplied me with the means to secure London's future. The city thanks you. The order thanks you. I thank you. But the shroud can only be worn by one. Therefore, I hereby dissolve this partnership. I promise to endow you with an income into your old age. But that is the most I can do. May the father of understanding guide you. Yes, what is it? Miss Thorne, sir. What of her? I'm sorry, sir. She is dead. And the key? Where is the key? There was no key found on her body, sir. The shroud will be mine, even if I have to raise hellfire to do it. Burn the letter. Well, what say you? You're not gonna like it. No, see you. I am graced with the Abilene family's robust constitution. Two pennies rob in the Bank of England. <laughs> the governor of the bank. I think I might need to sit down. There's no time for that. Bastard's probably deep in the vault by now. However you get in, I don't want to know. Of course. But do you know how I can get in? The bank is designed to protect England's gold reserves. A fortress, guarded under lock and key. There is the bank manager, Mr. Osborne. Only he is allowed free access to the vault. You can spot him near the entrance. In oh, yes. One man keeps a close watch on the vault door. He watches it like a hawk. If he sees you, he's sure to seal it. The guard captain, Gus Howard, knows Tupini well. He is in on this, I'm certain. Mr. Fry, please use discretion. The only way to implicate Tupini is to catch him in the act. Do not jeopardize him. No big displays. This is the Bank of England. If you encounter any trouble, I'll be in the atrium. In disguise. Tupini won't be leaving that vault. Where is Tupini? Please! I have a family! He's in the vault, ogling his priceless paintings.
Oh, fancy. Fitting for two pennies, too. You've stolen your last shilling from the people of London. Those animals squander their savings. We are the experts in investment. Nothing would be built or improved. Nothing would rise above the muck without our hand guiding. No creating the future. They benefit as much as they're worth. It is their city, not yours. Without our investments, there would be no city. For the path of the dead. Arrest them all for robbing the people of England. The Bank of England is closed until further notice. The currency, a laughing stock. Inflation out of control, Tupany brutally murdered. And yet Parliament does nothing. The bill will be defeated, sir. That buffooned Israeli shall be taken care of. It has been arranged, upon my honor. Your honor carries little weight. How dare you, sir! The poor people of this city have suffered enough. Today I granted a significant rise to my staff in order to counter inflation. What? I would supply all of London if I could. Meanwhile, you sit in your club and wax poetic with promises your honor cannot pay. 
Your family's fortune, however. I wonder what they would offer to keep your record out of the newspapers. About the same as Disraeli would offer for your balls, I'd wager. But let's be generous. Why limit ourselves to one or the other when we can have it all? What say you, sir? <laughs> Shall I come collect? No more dallying. The halls of Parliament must be free to govern. Again! Understood? You may see yourself out. 